There you go, no offense here. Okay, dopey dog white here. Right. Today, I'm going to show you my nice, new, and improved survival kit. I've gone away from that survival tin. I've recently uh, passed it on to somebody else who needed it. And that was potato head. He needed a survival tin. He needed a survival kit, and I've got about three or four. I had three or four at one stage, and I've gone away from the tin situation to the belt. I like having the belt kit. It's so much easier for me to use. It's so much easier for me to carry, and most of all, it's just more comfortable. So, if you notice on the belt, it's got a. I think they're called a cobra clip. I don't know if this one's the same one, but yeah, this is the two system belt because this piece here goes on the outer of my trousers. I've got an interior piece that goes around my trousers, and this just hook and loops. This belt goes on or hook and loops onto it. It stays on quite firmly. It is secure. I can have it if I don't have to have it on that bit. I can have it on my waist to go higher up. So yeah, I have added, I have put this pouch on. I I wanted this pouch on for a reason. I know it might sound silly, but it comes in handy. It's got small things in it, like it's got an empty tin here. Yes, an empty tin. I'm not sure what I'm putting in that tin yet. If any of you guys can give me some clues, please do. As well as in the back. I love carrying these. I have mountains of these in my bag, in my trousers, in my kits, whatever you want to call it. And that is a emergency foil blanket, as well as some hearing aid batteries. They are a must for me. There's six weeks worth of hearing aid batteries there. So yeah, hand a big handheld torch. Right. I know some people are going to think that I've copied the Wazoo survival belt. Well, I haven't. This is my own version of it. Might look like it, but hard to believe there's a kit in that kit, in that belt. It's not very big, it's not very fat. And so, yeah, we will begin. At this end. It used to be a zip across here, but I found out when I on my last one that the zip just broke stupidly, insanely mad, and so now I've replaced it for heavy duty Velcro or hook and loop, whatever you want to call it. So yeah, right then. In here, I do carry some snail wire, as well as a pre-made snail. I'm going to be taking that one out and just keeping the pre-made snare in. I might put that one in my tin instead. I have a small housewife, a decent, and I mean a decent, I mean a decent um, wire saw. A reasonable good fishing kit. I'm still working on that one. So tin foil. Some heavy duty tin foil. This is not the cheap stuff, this is heavy duty stuff, this is really good. I highly recommend getting some heavy duty stuff instead of the cheaper stuff. Spark wheel. A Wazoo Survival water bag with purification tablets and a coffee filter. Duct tape. Kevlar cord, 25 feet. One of these UST knife, um, straight knives plus saw. It's okay, I won't recommend it buying it if you're starting out personally save your money and get something better 
big lighter, white and yellow one. I know it's weird. I got I got some white in the kit. A decent button compass, but wax. Fairwood slash whistle slash striker. One of these cards with a arrowhead and fish and more fishing hooks. A signal mirror. One of the atom lights from Point My Product. As well as some signaling tape. And the whole length of this, I carry the poly, um the pro tech um by strip roll the whole length so from from finger to thing from finger to finger it's the whole length of that line so that is what i'm having in or what i carry in my new and improved survival belt any of you guys think i should add anything to the tin and that pouch please let me know because that would be highly helpful because I want to carry that pouch as well as the tin in there because I know the tin will come in handy for other things so yeah so thank you very much for watching if you like this video please put the thumbs up if you didn't like the video please put the thumbs down I do apologize that this video is a bit longer than I expect expecting but yeah and I will leave links to other videos like this one in the description box below as well as my email address for facebook the face the plumber fence facebook group page as well as the plumber fence instagram page so yeah thank you very much for watching and we'll see you soon bye bye